Hello guys, welcome back to Lost Constellation. My name is Fossils and Things, and we're going to continue. We were trying to get into the witch's house, if you remember from the last episode. Um, and basically, whenever you hit the, the weather vane on the top of her house, um, she'll come out and she'll kind of, she spots you, she'll make you disappear. But I have an idea. We're going to run back to the brambles here, or branches or whatever it's called. So we're going to aim up. We're going to throw, do an epic throw. And we're gonna walk all the way over here. Hopefully she doesn't see us. It's not a squirrel. Okay, let's move back. Let's see if she, anything's there. She's... <gasps> okay, alright, brilliant. Let's get in the house. So, we need to jump up here. Grab this. And there we are. Drop through the floor. And uh, let's get out of here. So, we just committed a crime, guys. Uh, we just basically burrow at this woman's house. But I'm sure she deserves it. So I guess we have to go give this back to the cat. Oh god. What was that? What was that? Let's go back. Ah, we gotta make the... There we are. We gotta make the snowman. Obviously with the object we just picked up. So let's pick up this. Pull it right on your head. Let's make like a tiara, shall we? Spin this one around. Pull it on top of your head. Turnip is gonna be your eyes. Because... Um, I say so, and I'm the one doing the design here. So it looks like the uh, the snowman is smoking. We're done. We've made our creation. He's gonna want to die straight away. He's gonna be like, "Help me! I don't want to live like this." <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh okay. What? No, no. Cough, cough. <laughs> no. Oh wow! Is that the dead soul of what the snowman was? Oh, the witch is here. We're totally done for. Oh, she's like a hunchback, isn't she? She's totally ugly. What is this? Oh, oh, God, no. Girl, what have you done? You, you watched it happen. You watched. It wasn't me. It was this place. It was the oven. It was what you became. I didn't get to choose what happened to me. I was so cold. I was so afraid. I had to survive. And I did not. Wow. The witch totally sacrificed her friend, wherever this rat, ghosty thingy is. What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak, you waste of a girl. I was her twin. Oh my god, we fled into the woods identical in all things. Wow. Except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. What tattoo? But you survived. Oh my god, she totally let her sister die. Her twin. I'm sorry, I never meant to- Oh my god, you got into something way out of your depth. Person, I still don't know your name. Okay, we're back to father and daughter here. May and her father. Yes, May? What is this story about? What do you want it to be about? If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Are we completely missing what just happened? So now we're interpreting, obviously, what that whole twin sister sacrifice is. Okay. Lost, lost constellation. That's cool with me. So obviously this whole story is a self-interpretation, what it all meant. You don't like that? Well, mate, when you grow up, there'll be a lot of things that you don't like. So, while we're throwing some snowballs into the air, let's continue right. I believe we're going to have to go back and see the cat. Before we do that, let's go see this guy in his uh, little house. You're a fraud. Why, hello. Nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over these woods. You talk to ghosts? Yeah, a whole bunch. I think you got lost in cold and started talking to the snow. So he is a fraud, so... Looks like, obviously, after all the time that... He could have been burying these bodies, he didn't. So let's get back to the camp. Back at the totem. Walk past all these snows. Still wish we had Archbishop Williams for the last episode. That guy was super cool. Oh, I don't think we need to go this way. Okay, let's go the right way now. Because obviously we need to go to speak to a certain cat. Should be really close now. We're here now. Obviously here's the cat. The kidly cat from earlier on the totem. See what he or she has to say now. Hey cat, figured I'd see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? I didn't die in there. So you didn't. But then again, I've never died in there either. So pardon me if you're not overly impressed, you did it once. 
You are such an ass. <laughs> Look at the crocodile, he's got some sass. Him with his fez, he don't care about anyone. You certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. I didn't mean to, just passing through. In all fairness, we're just passing through to see our girlfriend or whatever this crocodile is trying to do. Isn't that always the way? I have to go now, or so who are you? Yeah, let's find out who the cat is. Pardon? You some magical cat? Cat god? Cat wizard? Something? I'm just a cat. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. This cat is totally playing us. Your turn, who are you? I'm an astronomer. I'm a survivor. Let's go with astronomer. That's a lot better. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky. And this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. That's either very sad or very beautiful. It's very true. I'm freezing. Well, in this cold climate, I think I would be as well. I need to get going. The hunter, her child, the forest, God. Those aren't your business. I know. Leave all that here. You were in their forest. I'm in a strong. It may be their forest, but it's under my skin. I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said, ass cat. Now, now, now. Throwing insults doesn't win you the argument, Mr. Crocodile. It doesn't win you that argument. So Dina, the astronomer, good luck. Goodbye, cat. Happy longest night. Okay, so we don't need to chat to the cat anymore, and... Is this a... Can we... Let's just go. Oh, it's ice. Duh. It's obviously snowing. But I totally didn't know that. Oh my god. A promise is a promise. How is home? Who is this ghost guy? But this ghost also has a fez as well. The sheep shut down Fish Street Bridge. Hang on, the longest night ever. Ha 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 ha. The farmers were there all day trying to pull him off. So is this our friend or a girlfriend? I think that's an answer. We'll find out in the full game. Okay, did you find the ghost star? The ghost star, huh? It's there. Oh wow, look at that. Nice and shiny in the sky. Oh my gosh, something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. It's funny. What is it? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. You still can? Not really? That's something at least. Wow. I felt like just a few feet away. Burning away, exploding. And between us is the sheet of black. And where I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. God, this, this game has so much feels. And the interpretation that you have to take for what's around you is vital as well. You appreciate those connections even more after you've died. So it looks like this ghost was one of our friends or girlfriend or, or boyfriend, who knows. So it looks like we're astronomers. Maybe this is some kind of guild or some kind of group. The end. What constellation was that? No one knows. It's lost to history. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happen to you, and that something, 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 something. I want to find that constellation. Go out, go outside some night and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? Yawn. You look tuckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Zzz. And there we are. So that's the end of the story. May has now gone to sleep. And guys, here we are. We're at the end of the Lost Constellation. A Night in the Woods supplement. You got a little jiving mousy mousy with a cat. The weird kid inside the witch's house. No idea what he or she was doing. The trumpeter and the king and his knights. So guys, this has been the longest night. Obviously the longest night in The Lost Constellation. If you've enjoyed this series. Oh, I've got the lovely snow in there. If you've liked this series, give it a like. Subscribe for more content. And I shall see you in the next mini indie series. See you later, guys. Have a good day.